Welcome back to Fill in the Gaps. <laughs> I'm Egg. I am your host. And with me today is a wonderful human that you can find either at Boddington Rodeo or at Artistic Skin in Midland. Miss Caitlin, how are you? Good. How are you? Not too bad. We've only just started the podcast. We weren't talking about anything, as always with the podcast. We weren't talking about anything before this. No, we just got here. Yep. Just got here. Once again, um, I know to everyone watching, it may seem like it's been about a fortnight and you're probably wondering, why do you still sound like dog shit? It's because I recorded the last episode yesterday. Um, so, sorry, I haven't been this unwell for a fortnight. Um, it's been a day. And that's so when you decided to film I know. all of your podcast Yeah, episodes. the worst, <laughs> hey. Back-to-back days and I just happen to get sick. Like, I'm not even sick anymore. I just <laughs> sound like shit, like... What is this? Yeah, it's not fun, but here we are. We're here for it. And hopefully you don't get sick. If you do, then Very charge hard. it to the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> charge it to the game. Um, please be sure to like, subscribe, share the show, all that fun stuff. Um, but yes, our guest today, Caitlin, Artistic Skin Midland, Love and Life. Yeah. Apprentice Life. It's the best kind of life I've heard, apprentice life. Yeah, it's yeah. not too bad now. Not too bad. It's been, it's been a while. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. It's Good. Long How long have you been an apprentice? Uh, so I started working for them it's after my 21st birthday, but I was only doing part-time because obviously I needed to earn money as well. Gotcha. gotcha. So I did that for a little bit and then I think I did that for about a year and then I started tattooing, so I started working there full-time. So nice. Three Good stuff. Going full years, yep. I think. Starting yeah. Starting to come into your own, starting to find your way. Yeah, kind of yeah. Super weird to start with. Um, especially going from uni to working full time. Mm-hmm. Never having a full time job. Super different. Never having a full time job. Well, from high school to TAFE to university, I never worked full time right. up until I started working as a tattoo. Now all of a sudden you just jamming stuff into people's skin. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> I yeah. mean, like, I worked, like, part, part-time part yeah. while I did uni studies. But what did you do? Uh, I worked at IGA. Fuck yeah, you did. So did <laughs> I. <laughs> I, worked at, I worked at IGA uh, in Boddington. So I started working in there. In Boddington? When I was 14. Like, when I was, I think it had to be, like. Wait, hold on. You were in Boddington at 14, only yeah. working at IGA and didn't have six kids? Shout out Boddington. <laughs> Shit all. Come on. <laughs> I mean. I mean, no, it's pretty lovely place. It's pretty, it's like. pretty accurate. I feel like majority of the people I know that still live there are either on the mines or have kids. Yeah, it's it, at sometimes both. I'm sure there's great people in Boddington, but come on, no, you I, are aware that it's a shit hole. Come I, on, I still have I still have friends there. Yeah. Um, but that's that's how I know that. Not it, anymore. You don't. Not, not anymore. anymore. Not anymore. Again, charge it to the game. I think I think they'll they'll understand. Yeah, I mean. I'm from the country as well, and I'm from a shit all of a town too. Not as much of a shit all as Boddington. Ooh, but so you think Boddington's worse? Absolutely, Boddington's worse <laughs> than Coolin. Are you kidding me? I think I've only been to Coolin for uh, sports carnival. I think I've only been to Boddington for the Boddington rodeo. That's how bad it is. <laughs> that's when. That's the only time anyone ever goes. Coolin there. bush races is the only reason that anyone comes to Coolin. I, I can say I don't think I've been to a Boddington Rodeo since I was 18. I think I've been once, I think. Oh, you've been once? See, I used to go as a kid mm. and then I went to like the, the like nighttime event where they like, mm. and they have alcohol. So They have alcohol? They have alcohol there. <gasps> it's mental. You 14-year-old serving the alcohol probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most Every, experienced um, bartender in Boddington. Yeah, but I think I only ever went there once and I got very, very hungover and I was like, that was the worst night of my life. I'm never going back. I haven't been back. So you actually stuck to it. You didn't do the old, I'm never drinking again no, and then no, just get just, just shit-faced just, the next night. Just not there. Fair. Fair yeah, enough. it's just like, and trying to get home as well after that. Shit show. No Uber, mm. unless someone's picking you up, which at the time my parents didn't know I was still there because I had work the next day. At IGA? <laughs> no, this I worked at a cafe at that point. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, and by the way, busiest weekend of the year. And I was still at the Rodeo at like 2am. By busy, do you mean more than three people in a day? 
it goes from being like three people in a day to about a hundred yeah. in the same sized shop. <laughs> like so it's like it doesn't even accommodate for the amount of people that are there. That's the same as Coolin because I mean Right now, as of filming, it's the start of October and they just had the races, I think. And I remember growing up in Coolin, like 360 days of the year, you could lay in the middle of the main uh-huh. street for an hour yep. and you would be totally fine. Mm-hmm. Um, but those five days of the year when everyone comes down, yep. you got to like, they got to put in some traffic lights or something. Do like, you not feel like that when those like sort of things happen, you're just like, this isn't. It doesn't this feel isn't right. My town. This doesn't isn't my town. It doesn't feel right. You're just yeah. like, who are all these? Who are these? In people? the Matrix or something. It's yeah. it like it's just like everyone suddenly spawns in. Yeah. Like a video game, yeah. and there's just all these random people, know nothing about the town, what anything is, but they're just there, and you're like, I've been stuck here for the last fifteen years. Yep. Help me. Yep. And they're like, where's this? And you're like, bro, just walk one walk direction, down, and you'll find it. Walk down the main street. Yep. If it's not there, that means we don't have. <laughs> What's the next closest town to Boddington? Like big town? Ooh, big-ish. so got Williams. Okay. But it's not big-ish. Uh, probably it'd be Narragin or Pinjarra. Gotcha. Pinjarra is like other way though. Yeah. And then okay. Narragin, you're kind of going more inwards. Because I'm trying to figure out how far Coolan actually is from Boddington because I don't know because I never went from Coolan to Boddington. I can't say I've ever done a direct mm. drive from there. Imagine quite a ways. Yeah, probably. What's cool in here in saying that? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, like Lake Grace. Um, that would be li- like that would be like at least two hours, I think. Yeah, because Narragin is about midway, about an hour, I think, from. Coolin. Yeah, so we're an hour from Narragin as well. Okay, so probably two hours. About the same. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And if any of you thinking about coming to Storkus in Boddington or Coolin, we're not there anymore. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> We love you, Boddington and Colin. Shout out to the six three six five and the six three nine zero. Woo! I still remember. Yeah, tattooed both of those postcodes on me, like on my legs. My oh, friend yeah. actually asked me to tattoo it across her knuckles because I grew up with her there. And you're like, I, no. I literally <laughs> was like, I think that is. I the, refuse. The <laughs> worst idea ever. And she's like, why? Because she lived there longer than me. Like I was friends with her, and she had already been living there. Um, and she moved away a bit earlier than what I did. She went. To Dongra. But I stayed there. I was like, you left me there. And you still think it's great because you didn't grow up there as a teenager. Mm-hmm. So you got to go away and go to somewhere a bit bigger and better. That's where I was kind of lucky because I moved uh-huh. to Perth when I was 12, I think, or just before I turned 12. See, like, that's prime age. Yeah, and then moved back again for like a year when I was about 15. And you were like, I was like, what, what the what, fuck you're like, is this? You're like, what is this? And yeah. and all the kids there, you're like, oh, it was so weird guys because, okay? <laughs> because I did a student exchange um, like just after I went. B- so I was at school in Perth, Yeah, went back to finish year 10 because I had to get away from Perth. So I went to live with my dad and went to school for like the second half of year 10 Okay, yeah. Um, in Coolin. And I was back wow. there and all these kids I remember from like kindy and, you were and like, stuff. what is going on? Are in like year seven. Uh-huh. Year eight. I'm like, and they're nah, all like I don't like fully this. Grown. I don't like this. Yeah. Don't See, like this I did all. that opposite way. I left Boddington for like three months and I moved to Kalgoorlie. Back to Kalgoorlie. Do you just like shittles or? <laughs> so I was actually uh, born in Kalgoorlie and my f- that's where all my family Do you lives. just like shitholes yeah. or? <laughs> and so I thought. Um, at the time, I think I was, I turned 16 when I was living in Cal. Um, and I thought that was a better option than living in Boddington. <laughs> so I went to like live with my nan. Genuine question. <laughs> Does anyone like live in Kalgoorlie for any reason other than work? Do people live there because they feel like it's a nice place to live? I, Cause I'm sure it's a great place if you're there working and you don't have to travel that far. I'm sure it's fantastic for that. Like it's accommodating. It's not the worst place in the world. I mean, but in terms of just living there for no other reason than you want to live there, that sounds awful. I've still got majority of my family still living there. Um, shout out to <laughs> Kalgoorlie. It's a fantastic <laughs> place. Um, it actually, in saying that, I don't know. Like I thought it would be like growing up there. I think because I was a lot younger, I thought it would be better. So I went back, and then I was a teenager, and I was like, this is. Not any better. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine it would be. And then I moved back to Boddington. 
So when did you move to Perth? Uh, so I started working at a cafe once I graduated and I like had no plans on what I was going to, I was one of those kids that were like, what are you going to do when you leave school? And I was like, mm, something, <laughs> haven't figured it out yet. Um, so I actually ended up applying for TAFE. One of my teachers, conv- my art teachers was like, you should go study art. And I was like, that's a good idea. Even though I never wanted to study again because I hated high school. Yeah, like, yeah, I should. There's a TAFE in Boddington. Yeah. I think I'll go there. So literally that that wasn't even a thing. Um, so I had to move to Perth. And I was like, oh, well, I probably won't get in because it was for a, like a diploma mm-hmm. level. and like So you needed a bit of like prereq for it. Yep. But I didn't know at the time that like they were accepting people that didn't have prereq. Um, so I did a cert two in something like similar. So I was still working... I think November, I got the email back and they were like, yeah, you got into your diploma. Uh, you start in February. <laughs> Jeez. So I had like two months. I like, lucky I'd saved like a bit of money and like my parents helped me out and I had friends like a bit older than me from Boddington that had already moved to Perth and they were like, you can come live with us. And I was like, cool. So I got that sorted out and like moved within, I think by the time I actually like had it all sorted out, it was like a few weeks. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. All happened pretty quick, eh? Yeah, it was very quick. Mm. Um, it was good though. It was very, very like such a weird transition as well because I didn't expect to like leave that quickly. Yeah. Um, but once I did though, I was like, "This is like best thing I've this, ever done." Yeah, I was yeah. just like, I don't think it was ever like better decision I could have made yeah. than moving. Yeah, good call. Even though it was like no one like and no one else at like my school had like done it. Like, most people, if they had already left, were, like, kind of already living in Perth. Yep. Or they had, like, family living in Perth. I had f- I have family as well, though, but, like, I was more like, well, I'm going to... wasn't really, like, a situation where I could go, like, l- like live with them yeah, yeah. or anything. I did end up moving with some of my family eventually. Um, but, yeah, I think just because of how quick it happened, like, compared to when I was living at home <laughs> in Boddington and then moving to Perth, yep. looking for a job, going to school... And that pretty much all happened within like a few months. Yeah, right. Yeah. Worked out well though. It did, yes. I, that's at least the one thing I can say is it did like a weird transition, but it, it seemed to pay off yep. in the yeah. end. Doing well for yourself now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Had nice. lots of help as well, so it's always good. Good stuff. Yeah. From a specific someone at Narragin Senior High School or... <laughs> did you mean David Hallam? Shout out to David. <laughs> Yeah, we we didn't even for a bit of context there. We didn't even realize that we we don't know each other. No, but we, we don't. We but mutual, mutual mutual friends. friends. So yeah, my yeah. childhood best friend and still one of my like few best friends um, to this day went to school with you. Yes, um, year below you, right? No, he's in my year. In your year. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> and um, smart fella that David. Mm, very, very smart, smart. fella, and uh, that rubs some people the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but can David tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I'll let him try. I'll let him try. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird as well, like seeing people from high school now. Mm. Like um I I don't know if I don't think I'm the only one that thinks that, but like you see people and like I still think I went to high school like two years ago. And I realise it's been nearly seven years. Oh yeah. And then you're like, the just the sheer difference of like where people have ended up is absolutely insane. Yep. I feel the same. Like, I only finished high school four years ago at the end of this year. But, like, it feels like it was so long ago, but also yesterday. It, like, and it honestly gets progressively worse. Oh, yeah. yeah. As you get older. Yeah. And, like, I, that's what I mean now. Like, whenever I see, like, social media and then someone announces they're like, I'm having a kid or I'm getting married, I'm like... You're like, oh, whoops. Then you're like, that never. oh, no, they actually planned it. No, I know, I'm like, that never stops. It just yeah. gets, like, progressively more. It happens, like, more and more. Yeah. It's absolutely mental. Like, just seeing, like, the sheer, like, different spots people end up being in. Especially, like, being in, like, a close, like, school like that. Yeah. And you still Especially kind of in the country. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. you've still got people that are, like, one end still live there, work there. Family's still there. And then you've got people on, like, the complete opposite end of the yeah. spectrum. They've, like, moved countries. And I don't, know <laughs> like if, I don't know if you're the same, but, like, not even that I was super, super close with everyone I went to school with in primary school and stuff, but because it was such, like, a small town 
and everyone was kind of tight knit like accidentally. Yeah, I remember like everyone that I went to school with. It's ridiculous. Like, no, I'm the everyone. exact same. Yeah. It's absolutely like even sometimes now there'll be people that like you never talk to at school. Yeah, but I will still remember who yeah. they were. Which like you talk to someone who's like lived in Perth. Had gone to school and they can't tell you like more than f- a few people they went to school yeah. with and they're like oh yeah that's it like and then you realize they went to school with like 800 other kids yeah, and you're yeah. like okay that makes yeah. a bit more sense as to why no one yeah. like knows each other like even um this is super random but like this is probably a few months ago i was just on facebook scrolling and i saw someone come up and recommended friends and it said one mutual friend i can't remember who the mutual friend was but i saw her name i was like i fucking know her. <laughs> yeah. i was like she was my best friend when I was like three years old for about six months and yep. then her and her family moved when I was like five. No, a hundred percent. I still do that. Yeah. Knew each other for like a year and I just like added her on Facebook. I was like, she probably doesn't remember me because she moved to Perth, <laughs> but I a hundred percent remember her and she was yeah. my best friend for like six months and that was it. Yeah. No, a hundred percent. Like there's still people like even now I still have it happen sometimes where like I'll be out in Perth and then obviously because most country kids end up congregating yep. to yeah, Perth yeah. anyway. Yeah. I'll, like, see someone that I haven't seen. Like, it could be, like, fucking primary school. They could be from Kalgoorlie. And I'll be like, I remember you. And they're like, I have no idea who Mm -hmm. you are. And you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. But, like, for some reason, it's just, like, that little... Maybe maybe because there's, like, nothing else to (laughs) to do. You just remember Just people people watch. (laughs) (laughs) It's all we used to do. You just end up, like, like, what's the word? You just end up, like, knowing everybody. Even, like, the most, like, small... Like, they might have had such a small part yeah. in your life. You're like, I still remember that person. Oh, yeah. But then other people are like, I've known you for, like, three years and I have no idea who you oh, are. <laughs> that's the thing, hey. Like, the people I went to high school with, I mean, there's there's obviously, like, quite a few that, because I kind of got along with everyone at high school. I wasn't kind of part of one group. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So there's, like, quite a few people that I will remember and everything, especially faces. But yep. if you ask me to, like, list off, like, 50 people I went to high school with, I'd struggle. But, like... Tell me to name 50 people from cool and I'm like, only 50? <laughs> Easy. Give me two minutes and You're I'm like, there. Let me just go through my Facebook friends. Yeah, yeah. I'll, t- I'll show you. It's crazy, hey. How you end up with like that many Facebook friends is because yeah. you're like, I know all these people from this place. I know all the Like, so like even now, like I still get friend requests from people. Well, not friend requests, but like, they come up in mutuals. And it'll be like someone, so like my cousin still live in Kalgoorlie and it'll be like, my cousin's Poor best things. friends, yeah. They'll be like my cousin's best friends, boyfriends, auntie, and I'm like, I know them. Yeah. And then so I've got all these people. So like, even when my partner will be like, who the fuck's that person? I'm like, I know them from like ten years ago, and he's I like, I know of them, yeah. And, and he's like, yeah. how? How? And like, I'm just like, just know them. Even when we were talking, and I was like trying to figure out like who I knew that you knew and stuff. Uh huh. Yeah. I've like I've met your sister once before. At like a pre drinks thing. Yeah, that's see, I that's met her once, and that's it. And I still remember it. That's and you, you told me your last name, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I remember." I her. remember that stupid last name, mm-hmm. and it just stuck in my head forever. Which we won't mention on the podcast, but we'll hide your identity. <laughs> that's why I don't use it in my business name either. Fair I was enough. like, I can't. Like, I just, I feel bad because yeah. it's like my dad had three girls. That's the last name, and that they're all going to get changed eventually. If it, like we all end up getting married. And I hate it. And like, I feel so bad because like, it is his last name. What's, but I can't. what's your partner's last name? <laughs> Kreider. S- sounds okay. Sounds better than my last name already, yep. currently, yep. yeah. Yep. And then I, I asked him if we could hyphenate it and he said no, which is, I think, the right decision. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Yep. He was just like, and then just with the, like, with the K and the C as well, like, it's a bit much. Mm. And I was like, that's, that's fair. Fair but enough. Uh, yeah, it's the same. Like, I can't use it for anything. So then obviously moving up to Perth, um, kind of getting into the tattoo culture and everything, um, finding your way. How did you How did you find your way into like the tattoo culture? Not so much getting tattooed or like being a tattoo artist, mm-hmm. but the whole culture around it of tattoos, music and lifestyle, yeah. dress and all that. Um, how did that change from a country girl, you know, boot scooting and... <laughs> Dark clothes and stuff. I'm yeah, not sure if that's so yeah, much what you're into, but like... Yeah, so that was pretty much like the opposite of like growing up. I think that's why I never really liked growing up where I did. Yeah. It's because that like I wasn't a like a country kid. Yeah. Like I was always, especially too, like we got internet eventually. <laughs> Wait, Boddington has internet now? It does now? now, yeah. It's crazy. They're going to come for me. 
I can actually like watch like the podcast. Like, shit. <laughs> so like we got our first computer. I think I might have been t- 2022. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have been like 10 or 11. Yeah. I was allowed half an hour a day. Oh, look out. Half yeah. An hour. And even then half the time because I had two other siblings plus my parents. It was like if the internet was still running relatively well at that point, you were pretty lucky. So it depends on who got to go first. What did you use the half an hour on? Um, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube nice. videos. Watching. <laughs> just, uh. Any that come to mind? Literally, like, I don't know why. I was a weird kid. I used to love watching, like, tsunami videos. Tsunami like, videos? Like, like, tsunami and, like, earthquakes, tornadoes. They are interesting. Sad. I was, but like. I, I was, like, I was going through that phase where I thought that was the most, like, mm. interesting thing. I still find those interesting, to be <laughs> honest. Like, I feel bad watching them. No, I'm you like, do, right? So many As a kid, I was just like, yeah. that's so cool. And I'm like, yeah, not, I would say cool not, even, right not, word, not even correlating the fact yeah. that it's a natural disaster and, yeah. like, people, people die. People die, lose but everything. I just, yeah. uh, the fact that it was caught on film, I was like, holy shit. Like, you've got people that are, like, on their balconies and shit, mm. just filming, yeah. like, on their phone. It's I don't know wild, what you, hey. I don't know what you film on your phone in, like, 2008, but yeah. whatever you film. And then you can just see, like, crazy this all the water going back and then it all starts coming but like what do you do no, what else you, is there to do unless like, like you know that it's happening there's literally nothing you because yeah. you can't outrun it yeah. unless you're like somewhere where you can get like high enough you can't run fast enough to get away from it. do you ever have those like internal thoughts where you're like why don't you just swim <laughs> but then you're like maybe not <laughs> But like just for a second, you're like, I feel like I can swim. I feel like you could, you could try whether or not you'd make it past the you can like try many things. The second of impact mm. from however many hundred kilometers of water coming at you would be. You're getting crushed by everything. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like I thought that as well when I like started watching. I was like, oh, I can just swim. And then you like you realize that the actual force of it is what causes the most and damage. And how heavy it is and it's everything. Like It's like a lot. The whole ocean like reverts back into yeah. itself yeah. and then uses all of that to come straight back in. Yeah. So like it's not like it's a little like wave. It's like a That's just wall little of water. Just a wave. <laughs> a, a tsunami came to cool and once I just like pulled out my surfboard just like ride the wave for you know. Because we're I so always, close to water. So hey. I actually researched that. If there was ever a, uh, so we don't live on a tectonic plate um so we don't get earthquakes very often here but i still researched whether or not if where we lived was further enough away to not be impacted by a tsunami if there was one are we uh in bonnington no it's too far okay call them i think you'd still be good i think i think because we don't know how to swim out there. No, no. <laughs> there's, there's no water there's to swim no in. There's no water ever. <laughs> we got to use old mate's dam. That's <laughs> yeah. it. That's all we've got. And uh, you can't touch the bottom, so. Yep. yep. And you don't want to. <laughs> <coughs> hey, Coolan's got the water slide. Thank you very much. We've got a sick water slide. Wait, you actually do have a water we slide. Do. I forgot about that. It's like that. you never open anymore because there's no one to run it. But <laughs> like, yeah. we've got it, but yeah. we don't have the uh, facilities yeah. <laughs> to run it. <laughs> Yeah, the one lifeguard a week doesn't want to work on a Saturday yeah. to do it. <laughs> half a lifeguard, half a lifeguard. They can't get one a week. Yeah, we had that issue at Bonington as well. Mm. As you would. Never had a lifeguard. Yeah. Well, we did, and then they'd leave, and then they'd be like, "The pool's not open for six months." <laughs> That's normally how it goes. Hey? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, sorry, they're leaving. Oh, we don't have another one. I actually, I worked one shift as a lifeguard at the Cool and Pool when I moved back there. After oh, really? Year ten. Yeah. Didn't have my bronze medallion. So I worked it because they said they needed workers. So Legal. I was like, I was like, okay, worked it. Helped. There was like a kids, like not birthday party, but like a function thing. They had like a big nice. blow up thing. I was helping set up that. Helped on the water slide, all that, and then I went to leave. I didn't have my license at that point. Um, so you didn't have your bronze medallion or your license. No, I was like sixteen or something. Fifteen. Oh shit. Yeah. Um. Probably sixteen. Um. And. Yeah, I was like going to leave and then the pool manager, I don't remember who it was, um, not a local obviously, <laughs> and he was like, cool, so um, can you just send me the, the copy of your bronze medallion as well? And I'll, you were like... I was like, I don't have a bronze medallion. <laughs> I knew what it was, but I was like... I was like, You're like, I definitely don't have that. Yeah, I was like, I don't have it. Did he, anyone like... He was like, he was like, what do you mean you don't have it? You said you had it. I was like, I never said that I had it. You never <laughs> asked. If you had have asked, I would have told you I don't have it. That's why I was shocked so that you, you just, let me you, work it. You were like... 
this is great. Yeah. I just like fast tracked straight through into being a yeah. lifeguard and I didn't even need to do my bronze. Yeah, I was like, I can't believe I don't need it. I thought I needed it. But yeah, he was like, no, no, you need it. I was like, oh, okay. Well. He was like, do you want to get it? I was like, not really. Well, thanks, thanks for the shift. <laughs> and I never got paid for it either. Bullshit, eh? Also so, illegal. I know. I know. Should have got your uh, $9 an hour. Probably about that. Yeah. $8 after tax. That's how much I got paid at IGA when I first started working at like 13, 14, $9 yeah. an hour. And I would work like 25 hours a week and get paid like 200 bucks. You deal with some characters at IGA. Yeah. I mean, you deal with some <laughs> characters in Boddington, so. The, c- the combo. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like Perth, you meet a lot more variety. Not at IGA, you don't. As someone who worked at IGA, no, you don't. No, not in Perth. See, I worked at Mount Pleasant IGA as well. Yeah, I worked at Ad and IGA. Oh. I will not disclose the suburb. <laughs> I will not disclose location. Yeah, oh don't my disclose God. my location. Mine was a nice suburb, so I yeah. can't complain. Yeah. It was yeah. actually like a decent suburb, so I was like... I'll snip it. It's, okay. it's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, but I worked at, I worked in Kenwick as well. Foodworks in Kenwick. Nice. Before I... End up getting another job, but yep. I've, I've worked at a few places here. Yeah, Kenwick. Yeah, the IGA oof. I was at. Even if I just told you the suburb, you'd go, "Oof." Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, fair enough. North or south? South. I'm south. So. Oh, south. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, it was brutal. Like, <laughs> it was brutal. Um. <laughs> and. <laughs> yes. Was it actually? Are you? Si- <laughs> is it the Caulfield IGA? Not, not that one. The not other one. The other one. The one like in the little shopping complex thing, uh, bro. It was a shit no, show. No, see, I was that's in high school. That and is selling blokes smokes at seven thirty on a Saturday while they're telling me about how they want to kill their wife or something. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, that's thirty two fifty <laughs> cash or card. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, like so, Kenwick's what like five minutes. Yeah, it's a different way from yeah. that. Exactly. Th- you just oh, had. Yeah. I was only, I think I was like eighteen or nineteen <coughs> when I started working there because I like I didn't want to work at IGA when I moved to Perth. So mm-hmm. I was like, I'll try and find different you jobs. Didn't want to. But oh. no, I wanted to go. Like I just wanted to do something else. And then it turns out I was really, really bad at any other retail work, and I got sacked from all of them. So I was like, I will just nice. go back to working at IGA or like a like a checkout operator because yeah. that's all I knew how to do. Other yeah. than that, um, so I worked at Kenway. <laughs> And exactly, and we were open till like nine o'clock at night. Yeah, same. And like, I still remember they were like, we can't like put you on with just another female supervisor. Like they wouldn't put me on. Because we're in Kenwood. Yeah, yeah, they were like, they were like, we have to like have, like it even like they'd make the fruit and veg guy or like the dairy manager stay until like nine o'clock with us because it was a guy. <laughs> they were like, and then I'd be like, can someone ever put me to a car please? Oh man! Because it was in like the little, it's the same thing, like a little complex, and there'd still be like people hanging around, and I'm like, I don't want to. It's dodgy, hey. Want to leave yet? Yeah. And then I, I, at that point as well, I did live in Gosnells, so. And you're still here to tell the story. I survived. That's insane. There was a shooting actually, um, down the road from where I lived in Gosnells. Was that not super long ago? I feel like a couple years back. It was like a drive-by shooting. I feel like I I heard about. Didn't even hear it. But I saw the, the cops, like, the next morning mm, down the street. Right. And I was like, I wonder what happened. And then I got home and I saw on the news, there was a drive, oh, a drug-related drive-by shooting. And I was, was like, oh, wow. Stay classy, Gosnell. I didn't even, like, s- I didn't hear it. And it was literally, like, down the street. I was like, oh. And then I, like, told my, I lived with my cousin at the time as well and, like, her family. And I was like, hey, did you hear about the shooting down the road? And she was like, no. Yeah, Gosnell's is a suburb. Definitely a suburb that exists. Yeah, I was 17 working at Gosnell's IGA, just like right. after school and stuff, um, making a bit of money and, yeah, had to do everything. Had to. Yeah, and you were, everything. like, allowed to sell smokes back then? Yes. Not anymore. Do you have to be 18? You have to be 18 to sell cigarettes yeah, at, right. like, an IGA. So I started selling smokes when I was 14. <laughs> like I was selling cigarettes to people, like... Didn't start smoking when you were 14? Uh, no, it was a year later. Oh. Um, <laughs> But I was like, yeah. And then I found out while I was still working at IGA, actually, they brought in that rule. Yeah, right. So, like... Maybe I was 18 then. I can't remember. Yeah, so, like, it was only two or three years ago. Okay, maybe I was 17 like, then. They were like, oh, nah, no, like, under-18s can't handle cigarettes at gotcha. all. So, like, th- 
there'd be an under 18 on the checkout but anytime someone wanted to buy a pack of smokes you'd have to like walk to the checkout and serve the person like you they weren't even allowed to be like on that checkout you'd take them to like a separate checkout to buy Jeez. smokes yeah absolutely insane probably a good thing probably probably a good thing <laughs> yeah i had to clean vomit from a aisle once because no. a little kid threw up and then I told my manager and he went and looked at it and went and, was like, and, went, and just walked and away and I was your like turn. I was like I guess I'm cleaning it then because we can't just leave it now there. that you brought that up I had a dude come through very very drunk um it was like 8 30 we had a bottle shop like next to the food works and then he's come through he looked like he was literally about to fall over but he somehow got through the checkout Good and on then him. Yeah, he, perseverance. He, I was I was impressed to be quite honest. I was also slightly scared because he didn't say anything the whole time. Like that's how like drunk he was. He just could not do a single thing except just stand there. He's trying his best. He was okay. doing his best. Yeah. Um, and the lady behind me, like behind him in the like line, was like, "Oh, I think he might have like spilt something on the floor." He, he didn't pissed s- himself. He p- he pissed himself at the checkout. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a part of, and she like genuinely didn't know that he had like weed himself and I like looked at it and it was a, it wasn't like oh oops a little spill it was a he like, just let it happen he pu- just let it go while he was standing there so there was like track marks of just wet footprints out of the store <laughs> like he just stood at the checkout while I was serving him that's ballsy I have weed to say. on the floor and then just that's walked. a power move <laughs> that is a power move asserting dominance over your exactly um, area I hey, guess. did he have to clean it up <laughs> no i didn't exactly i got no, my did he no he did he exactly was already <laughs> exactly piss yourself in a store walk out let someone else <laughs> he was already it. gone and i like called my manager and i was like hey because I, I wasn't like allowed to leave behind the checkout and i was like hey um there's something on the floor. It's a present for you. I didn't even say what it was. I was like, oh, this guy came through the checkout and there's like a puddle on the floor. Like, I just wanted to see what they said. And they've like walked up, looked at it, looked at the track marks outside and they're like, he pissed himself, didn't he? And I was like, yeah, I didn't know. I was like, the lady behind me had to tell me that there was like a, because like, it was like the full checkout. So you couldn't see underneath. And I was like, the lady in front of me was like, oh, he spilled something. Like, j- just didn't even, I, I genuinely think she didn't actually know that he had done it. Like she like actually thought she's like oh it looks like some um <laughs> it looks like some chicken juice chicken like, juice I, like, I mean it is technically cock juice <laughs> if was, we're if, if we're being technical I about it I was just like and then I looked at it and I saw the size of it and I was like there's no way he's just spilled something the size of the f- chicken or the size of the puddle <laughs> the puddle <laughs> it's huge it was absolutely That's what she said. that was like <laughs> just in the microphone <laughs> that was like the weirdest thing I had happen. Right. Like while I was working there, and people ask me for weird shit, but that happens all the time. <laughs> yeah, that happens. That doesn't matter where you are. That happens. Yeah, yeah. That was the only um, body fluid related incident. There you go. I had there. Good effort. But we did really well staying on the topic there of y- how you got into the tattoo culture, talking about tsunamis and talking <laughs> about working at IGA, cleaning up piss. <laughs> We're doing great here. I don't. Let understand. me guess. Let me guess. ADHD. <laughs> Cause same, bro. <laughs> We're doing good. <laughs> We're um working on that diagnosis. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been diagnosed either, but it's it's there. She exists. <laughs> yeah, I've been told like fifty million different things, so I'm still kind of just here dealing with it. So Somewhere I'm like, on that good could, spectrum. It could it could be well and Somewhere truly. Somewhere on the spicy spectrum. <laughs> yeah, on the spicy. Spectrum. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> But yes, getting into uh, the yes, tattoo back, culture because you were talking about using the computer and using all the that. computer. Yeah. Yes. Um. So then I think by the what time other tsunami videos did you? <laughs> <laughs> I think by the time I was like, so I used the computer, and by the time I was thirteen, I got like an actual fo- like a mobile phone. Yeah. What yeah, phone did you get? Sick. Um, I actually don't know what it's called, but it was like the little brick, the Telstra. So it's like oh the yeah, single yeah, yeah. Ca- The screen on it is like this. Did you get it from the post office? Yeah. Fuck yeah, Boddington you did. Post Office. Yeah, I got mine from my post office. Nice, oh, yeah. So I got one. I wasn't allowed to use it for anything other than to call my parents for help, which never happened. Oh, my God, just pissed himself <laughs> at the checkout. What do I do? I'm um stuck three kilometres away in town, Mum. Please come get me. <laughs> I don't want to have to use 1-800 reverse <laughs> on the phone box. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's what I always used to do to like get like to get her to come pick me up. If I was in town, and I didn't want to walk home. One eight hundred best. Mom, please come and get me. <laughs> Hang up, please, please. It's really hot. <laughs> and I'm um, scared. Yeah, and so I did that. 
Um, and then eventually, I think I was like 14 of convincingly eventually getting like Facebook, Instagram. Mm-hmm. I got Tumblr. Nice. So that's I was never on Tumblr. <sighs> you Sorry. Out yeah. All the time. Yeah. Um, it was also a lot of a lot of bad time as well. It was pretty messed up. Um, <laughs> I definitely wouldn't recommend using Tumblr at fourteen. I mean, it's social media. <laughs> yeah. There's always shit on there. Yeah, so I ended up getting all that. Um, and then, uh, I don't even know how I got into like alternative subculture music, emo. I got, I was uh, like out of my whole entire like year, there was probably like me and one other kid that you'd probably say like looked emo. Mm -hmm. And that was just like the weirdest thing growing up, (laughs) growing up in the country. Oh yeah. And self-identifying as an emo. Yeah. It's fucking weird. Because then the whole town just instantly says like, what the fuck is wrong with Everyone's like, why are you here? She's weird. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think I was like, I wasn't too extreme. But like anything's too extreme. Yeah, but that's a good point. I was very, very soft emo. Mate, you could like dip dye the tips of your hair, and all of a and sudden it's like, oh, old she's people. going through something. Oh, she's yeah. <laughs> she's something going on. <laughs> um, so I did that. Check her Tumblr. Yeah, <laughs> don't check Tumblr. Um, so I ended up doing that, um, and then I started going to concerts as well. Nice. I have to get driven from Bonington to go to the concert. Jesus. <laughs> so that was like an entire day trip. So I eventually started doing that as well. Um, and eventually, like, you meet more people as well, I guess. Yep. Like, you attract people that have similar interests yep. out of the very small pool of people that yep. do have similar interests. Yeah, yeah. And then eventually, yeah, like, just a l- chronic, chronic time online. Yeah. Just social media. I don't think I spent too much time online because it was hard um, <laughs> having internet. <laughs> but <laughs> but with what time I did spend online, I, I spent, like, I spent it on, like, Tumblr and Instagram. After the tsunami videos or before? Yeah, uh, this is after I graduated okay, cool. from tsunami cool. videos. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Graduated <laughs> from tsunami videos. <laughs> well, and like, uh, like, did you get a certificate for that <laughs> or something? <laughs> like the prank YouTube channels, <laughs> stuff like nice. that. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So I ended up doing, and I still watch YouTube as well. Obviously. Yeah. That was a big part of it. Like Favorite YouTubers at the moment? Ooh, YouTubers. Yeah. Or people stuff that you watch on YouTube. Subcategories or anything. I'm, I'm struggling. I can't think on the spot. I'm um, struggling too, <laughs> not with the question, just in general. <laughs> I I've uh, been enjoying my true crime people that make like jo- like documentary true, true crime. Yeah, you're a female. I a white female. <laughs> yes, that's the general demographic. Buddy, my missus is not a white female. I she is same. a female. All right. Yeah. Anytime so I walk female. into her room, whether she's asleep, awake, partying, anything, I just walk in and just hear. The body was found at the bottom no, of the lake. No, no, my 100%, my partner's already said this about me. He's like, I literally walk into the bedroom at night when you're asleep and you fall asleep to listening to some How? like, and I'm like, because it's just like something to listen to that's not boring. Like, I mean, I do the same with like NBA 2K, like simulation yeah, videos Yeah, see, like it's the stuff, same. Like he, he listens to people like game, like talking while they game and he falls yeah. asleep to that. And I'm like, it's the exact same thing, just different. But do you not get like fixated on what they're talking about and focus on it too much uh, to the point I feel, where... I feel like there's there's different videos for that. So you've got like... So I, like oh, in saying that now, like horror narration videos, Reddit, people like narrating Reddit like threads. I go through those on TikTok it's quite a bit. So, so yeah, there are yeah. YouTube videos of it and they go for hours. Gotcha. And they're great. Um, use those to fall asleep because they're not... Sometimes you get like some interesting stuff in them, but uh, generally it's pretty like... I suppose it would be, I'm, I'm assuming it's like people talking, not AI voices or anything. No, you get like actual people that narrate it. Okay. You can listen to AI ones. I've I get a bit sick of those. They do sound really weird once you start listening to them for I a bit too long. I just subway surfers <laughs> yeah. or whatever at the bottom. Oh, there. they've got the um like game yeah. um like screen yeah. for when they're like just talking. So like yeah. the cars jumping or like the Minecraft block jumping. What's the like soccer one with the car? Uh, Rocket League. The Rocket League. Yeah, That's yeah. yeah, heaps of them yeah. play Rocket League. Why do I know that? I've never played it. Before. I've never played <laughs> it. <either. laughs> but no. yeah, listening to that. Um, that's that's pretty much it at the moment. That's all yep. I use YouTube for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do. I do actually watch YouTube as well. I cannot think of a single one to save my life right now. Right. No, think of one. Silence until you think of it. I'm gonna be really. Uh, cringe and say i still do watch pewdiepie that's right i used to watch pewdiepie his i haven't watched his him in vlogs a long time, are cool his vlogs are cool yeah 
did he have a baby? He just had a baby, recently? yeah. So yeah. his vlogs have been cool. See, I know my stuff. Yeah, I know my young people you're stuff. You're it. Yeah. That's the only one I can think of right now. I don't think PewDiePie is considered young people stuff anymore, to be completely honest. But mm. I think it's more old people stuff. That's what 15-year-olds would say anyway. Yeah, true. 15-year-olds <laughs> now would definitely not say that is like a, a new thing. If you met a 15-year-old that loves YouTube and said, oh, I love PewDiePie, they'd go, how That's old are you? That was like before YouTube was even... YouTube. Was an actual yeah. platform. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I'll take that. YouTube. Good answer. YouTube. And um, now you're into the whole metal kind of scene as well. Fake metal I fan. Th- I was going to say, I can't say that. Yeah. I will get in trouble. Yeah. Um, al- alternative. I get the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't. Fa- I, I can't get fake emo. I can't, yeah, I can't do the full, uh, like, I don't know what it's called. I, c- I have to have a bit, bit of clean vocals in there. Yeah. Can't do the just. Screaming. Straight, straight scream. Yeah. Bit too much for me. Yeah. But, yeah, pretty, I'd stay pretty much still kind of, probably, uh, like, graduated a bit from. I, I'm not like one of those pe- – like when I was younger, I adamantly denied that I'd listen to certain things because it wasn't like, like emo what? enough. Like what? One Direction. Fuck yeah, One Direction. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Most attractive member of One Direction from like prime One Direction days because we all know now it's Zayn or Harry. Yeah. Prime those One Those were like the uh, – what's it called? Like the overall – Arcing I, I get that now. Yeah, but... In their prime, who was the most attractive one? Niall. My girl. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> that was forever my favourite and no one can ever change my mind. Unbelievable. Hey, so many people disagree with me. No, I don't. Even my missus says he's the least attractive. I'm like, you are out of your mind. <laughs> That's crazy. Wrong answer. He's gorgeous. Incorrect. I yeah. definitely wouldn't say that. Yeah. I, um... I haven't seen what he looks like now. No idea. I've listened to his music. I think it's still pretty much the same. Still gorgeous? Yeah. Mm. I think so. I kiss him. <laughs> yeah. He's a good fella. I, I guess it's fair. also the Irish accent. Yeah. That, that, like Irish that, that accent. To be fair, you could be like a solid eight and then if they have an Irish accent, it automatically goes to a ten. Yeah. Yeah. I do love an Irish accent. Mm. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Fuck yeah, wonder. But he's definitely the most attractive. But... Still or back uh, then? Ooh, maybe. Mm. I don't know. Harry's all right. Yeah, he's all right. He's his own. Own type of. He's his own type of attractive. Yeah. But. If we're Zane, Zane's obviously gorgeous, but. He's always been like that though. That's yeah. Cop out. Yeah. Cop out. <laughs> <laughs> cop out answer is Wonder Zane. what um, <laughs> Louis and, hold on, let me think. Liam. Fuck. I said let me think. Ah, Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't going to get Liam. Um, I'm pretty sure Louis plays football. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good um, I think he has a kid. I'm pretty sure Liam and Louis both have kids. There you go. Not together, I'm assuming. No, but that would be quite... Uh, what, what's that whole thing, the conspiracy <laughs> from the One Direction? What is it, Harry and... That was the th- uh, it's, uh, it's called Larry Stonlinson. I know all about that. I've seen some of the TikToks come up recently. Where wait, like they still do TikToks on oh, it? Oh, mate! Like that going was like back to videos and like that was a them. whole like YouTube Tumblr. In, it had like an entire chokehold on the internet. For I years. never heard about it. No, that when was it a, was going on. That was like one of the biggest debates in like One Direction fan community. What do you reckon? Did it happen? Mm-hmm. I was a pretty adamant believer. One of my friends, though, who really liked him as well, was adamantly like, no, that's untrue. But I was like... I have to do my research. I did I did do a lot of research. Mm. Um, <laughs> I, I, would, I would say yes, still. But obviously not anymore. Wait, any- still happening? Or no, not anymore, happen? but I'd say okay. still, I'd stay still a solid yes. Which we're absolutely fine with. Well, I mean, to be fair, it was probably everyone was too fine with it. <laughs> everyone just wanted it to happen, like... So bad. They were like, they yes. just wanted them to admit it. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I feel like it just made it really weird. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it was like a massive debate. Like, yeah, because um, I only heard about it probably like a year ago. Really? That's it. Because I wasn't a One Direction fan. I at the haven't. Time. I haven't even thought of that. Like since I was fourteen. But you've got to understand that when One Direction were like at their peak, I was like eleven, 
maybe. That's true, yeah. Something like that. So I was like, 11-year-old boy, I can't be like, oh, I like One I Direction. I like One Direction, I was like, yeah. fuck One Direction. <laughs> well, shit. I was like... More like Two Direction. Like <laughs> I was only like... like yeah. I was only like 14 or 15 yeah, when I started... But like they started coming up like they were 14 15 15 year old girl that's like prime no but one direction that's, that's where you're wrong audience. because there was an emo kid and i didn't listen to one yeah, direction yeah, yeah. that was yeah. a guilty pleasure a hundred percent that didn't fit with quite with the you make a good point with the image you make a good point now i'll jam out to bieber i'll jam out to one direction all of it yeah 100%. classic bieber classic bieber of course not, always classic bieber. not so much the new stuff oh, his new stuff's okay that was my first concert bieber Justin Bieber, still never when he was like 17. I've still never been to a concert. You're joking. I'm not joking. You've never, that is honestly, I think. As far as I can think, I don't think I've ever I've been to started, a concert. I have a list on my phone. I want to go. Of how many concerts I've been to. Wanna We're getting into the 20s now. Good effort. Does that include like small gigs or is that like stadium concerts? No, this is like, like con- I, I mean, if most, my most people I would say probably wouldn't do stadiums, but like gigs yeah um, but not like not like frio bar kind no of like actual like, okay. like concert events yep. yeah yeah like gotcha. going in 20s now you have okay. to go best one you've been to unfair um <laughs> they did like a top five go uh, ahead. top five i've gone to 21 pilots three times nice they honestly are only just recently uh, somewhat recently kind of started listening to 21 pilots recently they are incredible not bad not bad their like live performances as well is like it's, it's completely different. They played at RAC last time, like progressively played at like larger venues. So the first time I went to them, they played at Metros in Frio. Yeah. Then they played at like the Metros in Perth, and then they played at RAC. Yeah, right. The last time they come here, which was yeah. a few years ago. Yeah. But each time was still just like as good as last time I went. Um, and then went to Pierce the Veil as well this year. That was really good. That was with Beartooth as well. Yeah, hey? Beartooth is yeah. Beartooth is good. I think I talked about this on the podcast like right after it happened, but my missus got very mad at me about that because she said, I want to go to it. And I was like, well, let me know when the tickets come out and we'll get tickets. And then she didn't remind me. And then guess who got thrown under the bus for not wanting to go to the concert? Yeah. That, w- that sold out so this quick. Fella, it went so quickly though. Like I don't know anything about pierce the veil and i know like a handful when i say handful maybe one or two bear tooth songs so i still would have gone though that's fine i yeah, listen uh, to, to be that fair, kind of music but to be fair with them blowing up on tiktok with their one song i feel like like h- half of the people what one song the king for a day blew up on tiktok Never like it went it. crazy viral on tiktok even though the song's like pretty old but it went crazy viral and i swear to god there were like people that rocked up for the last song cuz that's like their last song they play I for might the know set. if i heard it but the only one i know is um the lines or lines whatever it's called that's bear tooth yeah 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 oh you're talking about pierce the veil i'm talking about pierce the veil oh, okay, okay. so their song went viral on tiktok gotcha like one of their old like maybe i've heard it before then I'm yeah sure. if it's on if it's been on tiktok <laughs> your boy yeah. does frequent tiktok <laughs> but like there were people that literally like rocked up for like them to play that one song and then left. Yeah, right. It was crazy. Yeah. But they had like two supporting acts that so went for like three hours. Everyone was like, just fucking play the good song. <laughs> just play that one song so I can leave. <laughs> and like everyone had their phones out for that one song. Jeez. And then that was it. Like everyone was. I'll have to listen to it when we have a break because it's I can't good. think of it. Yeah. It's Probably got, not. um, it's King Crew Day. It's got Kellen Quinn, who was Sleeping With Sirens, as a feature as well. Don't know. Sorry. It's good. There you go. Good song. It's on. It's on viral on TikTok now. It definitely means it's good. There you go. Speaking of viral on TikTok, you're viral. No. <laughs> 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 I um, I had one TikTok go semi-viral Ooh. one time. Two point seven million views. Is sh- that only like semi-viral? I guess so. Two point seven million views is semi-viral. I don't think it's viral. TikTok. Like I gained a lot of followers from it. It was a shit TikTok as well. I think you told me like what TikTok it, it was. So um, it was the. This is what your favorite one of these says about you, and I did tattoo styles. Oh really? Yeah, two point seven. Like still to this day, I posted that probably over a year ago, easily probably a year and four months ish ago. To this day, I still go into TikTok and always have notifications of people saving it and liking it. No it's way! Like That's meant. See, like I, I have a TikTok for yep. my for my business account. <laughs> 
I'll make sure to follow I think, it. I think I've posted like six TikTok and I hate it. I literally cannot stand the amount of effort you put in to make a video that goes for like 10 seconds. Oh, it yeah. annoys me. And then you get like 200 views or something. And you're yeah. Like, and I'm sick. like, I could literally just post a single video on Instagram and it would get the same effect. Yeah. Like, unless you go like viral on TikTok, then you're good. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, like that's same with me. I used to post TikToks of like painting skateboards and stuff when I yeah. used to do that and they'd get like fuck all views. But that's the same like when you do tattoos. Yeah. Like and then you spend, like when you do a tattoo and you like try and do a whole tattoo and you t- want to do a TikTok, you know, tattoo, like t- do a video of the stencil, then do a video of the stencil coming off, then do a video of when your line work's done, then do a video of when you shade. And like it just makes the entire process yep. 50 million times longer than it has to be. Yeah. And then you like spend however long editing it and then you get worried about like what it looks like and then you're nervous about that and then it gets like 200 views and you're like you're like that was not worth it <laughs> literally not worth it how <laughs> i felt and then i did found this sounds like this is what your favorite one of these says about you and i was like i could do tattoo styles and like thought about it in the shower and i was like cool save some photos put it together in like an hour just sitting in bed posted it and then just like blew up i was like are you kidding me i put no, no effort zero into that. i feel like yeah. that's the only way yeah. that you'll get that to Algorithm, work hey? is if if you if you just think of something and you're like that'll be funny because yeah. i feel like that's what tiktok's for yeah it's for like finding a niche it's just for those like videos of people that go ha oh, that'd be really weird or funny and then that's what like goes absolutely viral but that's the thing like i posted a tiktok that i thought was hilarious and i thought it was going to get like some decent views where yeah. i had a giant piece of naan bread in my in my bag and i was like where are my keys and then just like slap the bread against my car i was like that's fucking hilarious it got like 100 views i was like that sucks <laughs> that was amazing you were like i thought it was funny <laughs> yeah i still have it saved like i'm like that was too funny but anyway where i was going with that was yeah. um tiktok i also had one that went semi-ish viral yeah like 35 000 views or that's still like that. pretty decent not too bad of ranking all the black mirror episodes and yeah, i know that we've got a black, talk about that. black mirror yeah black mirror fan <laughs> over here what's what's your favorite episode i feel like no matter what i say it will be a don't know. I think there's a fairly distinct like I think there's a couple top ten. I think there's a couple, right? Fairly none distinct of them, kind of bottom three. None of them are in the first like the last two seasons. The last season wasn't great. There's a couple of episodes couple in the of last the, season that, that are, are pretty oh, good. That are alright. It's they not like good. very black mirror ish though. I feel like it's still pretty like Beyond the Sea was pretty black mirror ish, the space one. That's true, yeah. That, that was, was good. Lock Henry wasn't so black mirror y, but it was It was still good. I liked it. I wouldn't say it was like a, a, a Black Mirror episode. Though. The other ones, take it or leave it. Mm. I'd, I could go without. The demon one. That was okay. It was okay. funny. The one, but with, like, the one with the werewolf. What? <laughs> the worst Black Mirror episode in existence. I'd have to say that's that's in the top. Yeah. Uh, I'd say along like, with that one and Ashley and Ashley 2. Or whatever, oh, that's the, that's that, that one and that one are the, the worst episodes and ever. The Waldo moment. Yeah, see, some some people love that episode. I don't get I it. I despise it. I think it's just awful. It's just boring. It's so boring. It's bad. <laughs> but yes, those two. Those two were the worst by far, 100%. So bad. I, I, I don't know. I feel like they maybe might have lucked out with the Miley Cyrus cameo. And they were like, we don't even have That's to. That's the thing. I like Miley <laughs> They were like, we don't well. even have to try with this one. We've I got like, Miley Cyrus. I like Miley. So I was so excited to watch it. And I was like, what is this fake Disney shit? Like, oh, what so is weird. I don't like it. It's like they were trying to do a weird commentary on Miley Cyrus. <laughs> yeah. I did. Like and it, it just didn't. It didn't hit, I think, the way it was meant to. Yeah. It was a weird like episode. It. But favorite one. Yeah. I'd, I'd have to say Sharp and Dance is one of my favourite. That's the one how the troll guy gets them to yeah, do stuff. Yeah, they, they hey, blackmail yeah. the people into doing so. I feel like that one's slightly overrated. I, I liked it. I thought that, en- like, so watching that, I feel like just based on watching the episode once, that to me was, like, the biggest holy shit. Yeah. Like, that was the the one that I was like, oh, my God. That I don't know mental. that character's... The guy's name that he's plays the in, main character. He's in End of the Fucking World. He's great. I love him. He's amazing he's, at playing that character. He's so good. And in I, I actually watched, um, I think I watched End of the Fucking World first. Yeah, same. And then I saw that he had a Black Mirror episode. Yeah. I'm like, it's got to be good. And yeah. then I watched it. And it like just with the character he played in the other one, I was like, okay, it's a bit weird. Like yeah. he's going to be a weird dude in the next one. Yeah. Not that weird. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd probably say... 
White Bear as well, but people say that one's overrated. But no, no, it's not. I it's love it. That one's good. Yeah. And Very then good. it's uh, twisted as fuck. But it's absolutely yeah. Just I don't know. Th- I think it's more the concept of it. Feeling bad for a bad person, and then realizing also seeing how bad they're treating uh-huh. her, and it's like. Mm. And by the end of it, you're kind of like, Ooh. you're like, where's the line? Do I? Do, you're like, do I feel bad still? Yeah. You're like, who do I feel bad for now? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just I. I don't know. I feel like they have like the earlier episodes have that like kind of starting point where you don't really know yeah. like the whole info and yeah. then you get into the end and you're like it's a completely different situation than what you originally thought yeah. whereas like the newer ones are kind of just like oh it's got a really weird twist ending and it's like that's not they tried so hard with that werewolf one. Oh, I, we, I still don't there's normally <coughs> like a message or like an overall yeah. arcing theme of what they're like <laughs> what they're like trying to like you know get a message across about yeah, yeah. so like you know white bears about like the justice system yeah, yeah. and how People that have Most done that. Most of it's like technology. Or exactly. Like, like it's r- it's always related that one's back. Like, don't get bitten by a werewolf. Yes. <laughs> maybe I think I remember watching a thing on it, and they were like, maybe it's about like how paparazzi treat famous people. But I was like, that literally had what? nothing I to do with that the episode. For the first like seventy five percent. That's then but it, like but it doesn't end with any sort of like, oh that's why it's so it's just weird. it just ends and you're like oh okay that's fucking yeah. weird. Also the other one that some people kind of like i wasn't a big fan of was what's it called the one that's all in black and white the whole thing's in black and uh, white metalhead mo- yes i really like that i thought i it was wasn't cool. a fan i thought it was cool the black and white also hurt my eyes <laughs> i don't know when they're like <laughs> yeah. pan over so, stuff. so like, many people said that they were I like, like i can't uh, watch this because of the gray yeah. scale <laughs> yeah i wasn't i don't know the story was just a bit weird it, I think it was like one of those. You get like a few episodes. I feel like in like each one, like one every season, that's like a bit off from the rest of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And that was one of them. But I, I don't know. I just thought it was. It wasn't was, bad, I but I cool. wouldn't have it. I, like, I wouldn't have it in a top. No, I'd like have it five. slightly towards the bottom of like averageish. Oh yeah, fair. I'd probably have it in ab- above average. I'll get up my exact ranking. I'll tell you. The Actually, top 10. yeah, I'd be interested to know what. Because I know what my number one is, and I know what my number two is. I haven't. I don't know what my number three. I is. haven't mentioned them. You haven't. Mm. No, my number one is like number one, number two. So it's definitely number, number three, one. and then like the rest the of re- the re- <laughs> you're like, and then there's everything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, so now I'm trying to think of. So the thing is, when I s- first saw the third episode, I was yeah. like, "That's my favorite." When I saw the second episode, I'm like. That's my new favorite. And then I saw my number one, and then and you I saw was it, like, and you were like, like that's, "That's that's that has to be number that's one." That's definitely see. Like when I started watching it, I think I watched the first episode first. We did the. I think I said something about yeah. it. We watched the first episode first. You don't watch the first what episode the fuck? first. <laughs> and then it's and a then, good episode, but it's not a good episode. And then first like I realized watch. it wasn't like a chronological, yeah, like order. And yeah. I was like, I can just watch whatever one I think looks cool. And so <laughs> I eventually just did like after I watched the first episode, I was like, I definitely I'm not going to go this through order. I think the first two or three seasons were yeah. already out. Yeah. So I started watching yeah. like just random ones and eventually watched all of them. I only started watching it about a year ago. Maybe oh, even really? less. Yeah, yeah. And I just like binge watched it and binge watched, watched it all over of them. and over again. Oh, yeah. wow. I started, I think when I first started watching, I watched it before it got picked up by Netflix, which I think is when it started. Who was it with before that? BBC. Yeah, UK right. BBC. That's why like most of them is set in England. Like UK or, mm. you know, some sort of. Yeah. Right. They've got like American because I like, I'd, I'd never even heard of it before. Yeah, it was I it was originally it. a BBC uh, like sh- run show. They did well, I like it. And then they didn't actually have the money to. I think I th- don't quote me, but they like they, they ran out quote? of they ran out of funding, yeah, right. and then Netflix picked it up, which is why like a lot of people go, it's kind of lost that like, yeah, the first two or three seasons. You notice it kind of shifts a lot. Yeah. Because it goes into Netflix's. Because um, I was showing my dad Black Mirror because I was like, I feel like you kind of like this because they like sci-fi. I hate sci-fi, yeah, but I love Yeah, see, Black I, I don't like sci-fi either. Yeah. But I, I, I love Black I Mirror. I was showing him and I was showing him like my favourite episodes. He was like, fuck, this is good. He was like, how about we start from the start? I was like, <laughs> I don't know. He's like, like, is no. it a bad episode? I'm like, it's not a it's bad not episode. It's not a bad one, but it's, it's definitely not good. I'm like, it's jarring. It's it's definitely something that I showed him. He was like, what the fuck? You're, like, you're like, like, if you watch the first one, I don't think you'll want to watch the yeah, rest of yeah. it. Yeah, that's why I showed him the good one, like the best one first. What's the best one? Okay, so number five, I had White Bear. Yeah, okay, that's about. fair. Number four, Black Museum. Ooh, okay. See, I don't. 
You don't like that. I don't. It's okay. I loved it. I think it's I think it's cool. Like I like the premise. I like how they incorporated like a lot of different kind of stories. Like the story, cool. like the the individual stories in the actual episode are super cool. Like the dude, um, can't remember the doctor. Yeah. That like makes that device where he yeah, can't feel yeah. pain. Like yeah. that's that's sick. Feel, like feels pain through other people. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah. it is. Yeah. That's see, that's like probably one of the coolest stories yeah. like in the actual Crazy, show. Hey. But I don't know. Overall, as an episode, I was like a bit. I'd, say, I'd, pr- I'd probably rate that more like a, a better average middle. Fair enough. Yeah. Should I give you my top 10 or my top five? Go top five and then I'll we can do top 10. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Number three, Hated in the Nation, the bees one. Ooh. I loved that one. Yeah. Not a fan. That's a good one. No, nah, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't put it in the oh, top five. I loved it so much. The it way that cool it ended. Though. Yeah. No, it's so cool. good where it's like. I think it's going one way, I think it's going another way, and then it just like flips completely. And yeah. it's like, he's kind of a good person, but also it's a really fucked up thing. Yeah. I don't like the cliffhanger at the end, though. The fact yeah. that she like finds him, but then that's it. That's it. There's nothing I'm left. Like, oh, I want to know what happened. They do that a lot. <laughs> I know. They do. They do. <laughs> Number two, playtest. Yes, I love playtest. I love playtest. That was my absolute favourite until I saw number one. I love I love Playtest and I'd rate it very highly. My favourite thing about it is like the whole aspect of time just being like this thing yep. that kind of exists and kind of doesn't. I'm like, it's wild to think that like all that happened like in that amount of time and that's it. And that's, I'm yeah. Like, what if we're stuck in that? Yeah, right. And you kind of have like those instances like when his phone rings and you're like, yeah. That's, that's it. Yeah. Like that's yeah. the entire, that was the entire thing I just watched yeah. in like five seconds. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. and the way they just like, okay, yeah, he lasted five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> next, yeah. next one, please. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's mental. Yeah. Crazy. That's a good episode. I had to do a English assignment on that in university. Oh, so you're kind of sick of it. So I, I had to watch that multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it's, it's good. Like yeah. it's a good episode. Yeah. But like, you know, when you've watched something a bit too much. Yeah. And yeah. you get sick of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you want to guess what my number one is? I feel like I feel like based on your answers already, I won't get your number it's one. It's a pretty common number one, especially on TikTok. <laughs> this is the worst. That's the that's that makes the guess probably even harder. Uh, White Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Love White Christmas. Yeah. People rave about Again, that. Again, it's the, it's the whole yeah, time no, it thing. Is, it is good. It is like good. How you can just like make like five years pass and stuff. Yeah. And no, it's a pretty cool. Yeah. I probably wouldn't say. Oh, it's my uh, favourite. I, I could rewatch it over and over and over again. Really? I love it so much. And the first time I watched it, because I can't stay awake while I'm watching stuff. I'm like a dad. Um, you like fall asleep yeah, mid-movie. You're like, yeah. this is a great movie. And yeah, as my, uh, like, it's not even because <laughs> yeah. I'm bored. I love it so much, but I just fall asleep because <laughs> yep, yep. I'm comfortable. So I fell asleep during that one and woke up right at the end. And I was like, wait, what? what? The and then hell? I was like, I was like looking back through the episodes. I was like, I don't remember that one. And then I watched it and I was like, how the fuck did I fall asleep during this? You're this like, is amazing. It got, it got so good. What I did know, I do? I know. So. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah, no, that is, that is good. I'd agree with at least half. <laughs> Fight me about the other half. <laughs> But TikTok says that it was good. Yeah. So that's okay. We're up to, let's see. I haven't got many <laughs> notifications since it kind of died off. Oh, really? Uh, 2,225 likes. And how many likes? 200? 2,225. 2, and I've got just under 40K views. And yeah, see, look, 2.7 million views on the other one. Such a shit TikTok as well. I'd like to ask, why do you, I've seen other people do it. Why do you pin your most watched Just so videos? it goes to the top. Okay. So people don't have to scroll for it. Gotcha. It's what the young people. I do don't. Know, I was gonna say. I've seen it. I never use. I never use TikTok. I, watch I don't really post on TikTok. I, I scroll all the time, but I don't really post. See, I don't even do that. I watch Instagram Reels. Of course you do. <laughs> the grown-up version of TikTok, where you watch TikToks without getting the app. Yeah. Okay. okay. I have the TikTok app. I don't know what it is about the setup of it. I just can't. Like, I hate Man, using I, it. I doom scroll so much. I oh, my for you page is really good. I doom scroll on my Instagram reels. <laughs> but yeah, if anyone's um seen the TikTok of me with the tattoo thing and didn't realize it was me, it's me. So, fun I fact. don't know if I would have seen that. Maybe. 
Maybe. A lot of people saw it. Like, I had a lot of people messaging me. And they're like, is that you that made Really? The like, people so that you knew? Oh, yeah. And they were like, I, yeah. I found you on TikTok. Yeah, there was people commenting on it that I, like, did exchange with in Switzerland. They were like, hey, I know the guy at the start. I'm like, no Damn, this way. This is, like, hidden all corners of the world. Hey. That's mental. Just over a TikTok that I made in, like, an hour. See, so. I've, like, I've, I've met people that are like, oh, yeah, I've gone viral on TikTok. And they get, like, a couple thousand views. And you're like, okay. Or, like, yeah. 13K, 13K or something. You're like... Yeah. I don't claim to be TikTok famous or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, you had a viral TikTok. Yeah. But when people are like, yeah, I'm pretty popular on it's TikTok. So, it's something that I like keep in my back pocket. And I'm like, hey, yeah, that's the I got a few million That's views. a cool um, yeah. interesting fact. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not like a TikTok influencer or anything like that. But like I did go from that video, I think I had like 150 followers or something. And now I've got like just under 2,000 just from that video. Just from a single video. Yeah. No yeah. wonder why like people feel the need to like – constantly have a viral not gonna lie video. like it was pretty cool for that two weeks right just, like, yeah it would have been no wonder, I, think, I think up. i think that's why like people on tiktok are like i have to just do something yeah. real crazy yeah and then or i have get, to think of something really funny and then you get caught in the algorithm i'm like damn maybe should i make a part two and then i got like a couple of thousand views but that was it for, and the, I was like, for the part two i was like yeah so like yeah that's what i don't understand what was it about the part the no part idea. one the first part that i made think it, it was just like it hit a niche of people that want to know what their tattoo it's, says it's about so them, just based off it's some so guy. It's so odd that, how that works. Yeah. yeah, just some random guy on the internet. People is like, are like arguing about what I said. I'm like, bro, I'm just a dude. <laughs> like, I, you're like, you're none really of this, taking my. None opinion? of this is well known fact. Yeah, and like, because it's not my sound. It's like someone else's sound. It's like oh, this is what your favorite really? one of these says about you, and I just matched up like what I think. Oh no, I know. I, know, I, th- I think I know the yeah. um, like the sound the yeah sound you're talking about that yeah. people have used for that. Yeah. Oh, so I just so used that and just matched it up, and then people were like, "Oh, this one. Why'd you say this for this one?" I'm like, "I didn't say shit. I just like lined up a Google picture." So I must say, like, when you are like on like tattoo TikTok or tattoo Instagram reels and shit like that, people get offended when you are uh, categorize their tattoos as yeah, like a as a whole. They get really so offended. A hundred percent. Oh, you like trad tattoos that means you're an old man and they're like what well, fucking what that's pretty much what my tiktok was, oh, was people it? just getting yeah. triggered and shit like yeah oh you like black and gray realism that means you're a uh, mid-20s white male yeah. and they're like no that no not yeah, true yeah <laughs> yeah because i think one of the ones in there was like i had to put japanese to something I'm like, i just have to oh, but like there wasn't Oriental. really anything that fit but the one i put it with was like you're going with a safe option it's kind of basic but like it it always works or something like that <laughs> So I was like, oh, yeah, that works. And then there's people like, well, you know that it means you're part of the Yakuza and shit like that. I'm like. <laughs> you're like, dude, that, like, it's not that serious. I'm like, tell me what other option fits Japanese. I mean, better. to Japanese be fair, sick, I'd like, kind of agree with that. I feel like yeah. it's, I feel like that's something. I feel like a lot of people can appreciate ja- yeah. like Oriental tattoos. Japanese looks sick. It looks sick. But, but like, like if it's for if you want something a little like a little bit different. Yeah. Like it's not it's not like a like a black and grey realism. No. Or like a line work tattoo. Japanese all looks fairly similar to each other. It all looks awesome, but it looks somewhat well, similar. Because it's to yeah, each it's other. a very like developed yeah, it's style. Just a, it's just like a black not literally black and white, but literally black and white. This is Japanese, this is not Japanese. That's exactly, it. yeah. So like that's Japanese. That's it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I know that's what I felt fit best. That was I, so see, I, about it. I would agree with that. Yeah, with the uh, the audio yeah. clip for that. I will show you the TikTok later, and you can see what you think of it. So. Yeah, I have to say it. that yeah. sounds really because obviously funny. I said like um patchwork, like black and grey patchwork style is like the best thing, and everyone's nice. like, "Of course you fucking <laughs> did." And I'm like, "You're like, like because that's what I have." <laughs> <laughs> like I've got other stuff. I've got trad. I've got. Fucking geometric. No. Yeah, but you can just say it's patchwork because it, cause it's patchwork. It doesn't exactly. have to be like all black and grey patchwork. Yeah. You just be like, that's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, so that works. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you go in a second, um, but we'll finish off with some rapid fire questions and a good old kind of would you rather, kind of not a would you rather, but okay. would you rather ish kind of question. All right, let's do it. First rapid fire question. What's your favourite classic movie? So you can take classic however you want, but like... <laughs> Not in the last ten years, will go. Oh, that's easy. But Jaws. Fair. Never seen Jaws. It's gr- it's uh, it's. I would say it's great. But I don't know why I always probably, ask my guests about movies and stuff <laughs> when everyone at this point is aware I don't watch movies. I don't know any movies. You feel like it's the polite thing to do. I know. You you, you don't cars. ask. You don't ask what the favorite color is because that's that's too that's too normal. Cause so you go, what's your favorite movie? And then you're like, because everyone likes blue. Of course. Yeah. Definitely. Jaws. Jaws. 
It's great. Get introduced to it by your parents or anything like that. No, or no, just both my parents hate horror movies. And hate the re- horror movies. They hate it, and they were the reason they were like, I wanted to watch it is because they were like, oh my god, it's so ter-. like my mum is t- petrified of horror movies. She's like, oh my god, it's so terrible. I couldn't even watch it. She's like, I couldn't go swimming afterwards. Nothing. I was like, of jaws. I was like, we don't even live near the beach. What are you talking we're about? In Boddington. <laughs> <laughs> She's like riding a bull. She's like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't go swimming, never. <laughs> she went, she was, she lived in Kalgoorlie at the time. She's like, even when like went to the dam or the river or something like that. She was talking about going swimming Always somewhere. Always sharks and dams. And I was like, where are you getting this in from? But then I watched it and I kind of like, it kind of made sense. It's a pretty shit movie though, isn't it? I mean. Like classically shit? I think for the time it was classically. For the time, but now. Now, back, yeah, now classic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I still think it's good. Like I definitely think compared to like, current shark movies as well i'd still t- place it pretty high not better than sharknado oh <sighs> uh, yeah i don't know about that shark- sharknado is pretty yeah. pretty up there but like i don't know even like the like mechanical like shark that they used to actually make the movie like it's still i'd say it's got some weird movements but like it's still pretty spot on like compared to people using cgi <laughs> like cgi looks if you're trying to do like a shark movie cgi looks pretty Pretty CGI yellow. is very hit or miss. Very. I haven't seen a good CGI shark, like in a, in a shark movie. Shark Boy and Lava Girl. <laughs> yeah, true. I watched, it, I watched a clip <laughs> of that the other day and it was like, how did any of us find this entertaining? And it was like, it was like, um, <laughs> clip art, clip art kind of looking shit from like 2005 <laughs> on the PowerPoint. Dude, some of those movies you'd look back on and you're like, you're like why was I entertained? What is that? Then again, watching Pingu now, I'm like, fuck yeah, it slaps. Oh my God, Pingu always slaps. <laughs> <laughs> I loved Pingu. I want to get a Pingu tattoo. So bad. Yes, Pingu. Favourite animal, not favourite animal, mm. what animal would you want as a pet? And we'll go with an animal that isn't normally a pet. I guess any animal can be a pet, but like... It's like, an exo- like something that you wouldn't have as yeah, a pet. Yeah, not many people would consider to have as a pet or at all. They don't go like, I'm going to go kind of wild here and go a Labrador. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to go with a breed of dog. (laughs) Uh, Capybara. I've got a Capybara shirt as well. I should have worn it. I love them. Yeah. They're they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Or a a Fennec Fox. Fennec Foxes are really pretty. They're really cool. They look so cool. Yeah. Or just a fox in general. Foxes are pretty cool. I've seen some people creepy that though. I've seen some people that have them as pets. They yeah. seem pretty cool. Growing up in the country though, having chickens. Oh I yeah. I just remember foxes coming around and being like <laughs> little bitch. Yeah, and when you see them as well, they're always doing something sketchy. They're so weird. <laughs> they they're are just weird. They the are they really make. they do make especially if they're like people that keep them in captivity. They make the weirdest noises ever. Like hearing them up close, like when people walk up to them and they get excited and stuff. It's so weird. Keeping them in Happy bar activity. <laughs> um, <laughs> mine would be monkey. I love monkeys. Monkeys? They're yeah, so but cool. if you move to America, you could have one. Why the fuck would I want to move to America? <laughs> just, just to have a monkey. <laughs> um, what is your go-to coffee order? Ooh. I swear to God, if you say like soy pumpkin and spice <laughs> no. latte. Um, pretty boring. Like just a skim cappuccino that's, that's it. not super boring that's okay i was gonna say i haven't actually been drinking coffee at the moment i've been drinking matcha what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> it tastes good are you okay <laughs> or like matcha <laughs> no, no, who's got a gun to your head <laughs> it tastes good you gotta have no it doesn't <laughs> you're just gonna add like a bit of like sweetener to it what like 15 sweetener so that you can't taste the matcha <laughs> yeah then i agree yeah why do you not like it? No. No, have you tried it? Yeah. Nah. Like, have you tried good, good matcha? Oh, that because that see that's the <laughs> thing, right? Is that that doesn't exist. It all doesn't tastes exist. like shit. Yes, yes. <laughs> I bought some, and I bought like a a really really like it's called ceremonial grade, so it's like, it gets grown in like a certain like part of Japan, and it like they only pick out like a certain grade of leaf. And then they have a certain way of like prepping it. So it's really, really nice. 
and I bought some or my partner bought me some and I was like, do you want to try some? He's like, no. And I was like, smell it. And he's like, it smells like grass. Okay, fair enough. Just to be clear, like <laughs> matcha flavoured stuff, yeah, not too bad. Oh, really? So you like the flavour of it? Matcha coffee, why? Why would you want that? It's technically not co- – it's kind of coffee. I wouldn't say it's coffee. It's more tea, but it's like – Well, matcha tea. Matcha drinks. Matcha – Matcha like, liquids. Matcha liquids. <laughs> it's because like it has the same amount – it has a little bit less caffeine than a coffee, but it also um, like – it's not meant to give you like coffee jitters. Same as like chai. Yeah, so I it's the same. I don't get chai. Like it's got more like um like nutritional value as well, like antioxidants and vitamins and all that sort of stuff. I'd rather get my vitamins and antioxidants <laughs> otherwise, but <laughs> I'd rather right. just <laughs> take a multivitamin <laughs> than drink grass I'd water. Rather <laughs> eat an orange or something. <laughs> fair. Right. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Now for the. It's not even a would you rather. I don't really know what to call it. But I saw it on TikTok and I would give credit. It's like a pick one. Uh, kind of. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I saw it on TikTok. I would, gi- would give credit, but I, I can't remember what the guy's name is. I don't really want to go searching for it. But so five fingers, right? You get to pick five liquids that can come out of each of your fingertips. <laughs> Like a just soap. at your disposal, it's just a dispenser. <laughs> what, like a post-mix dispenser machine? Yeah. What are the five liquids that you're choosing? Don't doesn't have to be drinks, just liquids. Why would you not have something that you can drink? <laughs> you go with your answers and I'll tell you. I'll tell you what my answers are. I haven't set my complete answers, but... No, I feel like there's an answer that I need to have that oh, I there's defi- Oh, there's two answers that everyone should definitely have. Okay. I po- don't possibly three, Oof. but... I'm just gonna not probably not go with any of those. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm what sorry, are Pepsi Max. Because nice. Pepsi Max. <laughs> nice. I drink that more nice. than water. Nice. So Fair. Uh I don't know, type it some form of alcohol. Because alcohol. Like vodka or something or like beer? Oh, okay. Now we'll go gin. Gin? Yeah, gin. Okay, so you've got gin <laughs> Pepsi Max. Pepsi Max. <laughs> Matcha. Matcha. <laughs> Matcha? Yeah. Um, but you're saying any liquids? Any liquids. Okay, so I've got three drinks. I think I can pick something else. Yep. I don't know, like fuel. See, <laughs> Is that one of them? Of fuel? Them. Yeah, fuel. yeah, I mean, it, t- it might take a while. It depends. That's all right. Do you get like... Um, Would the, you rather the take, f- the take fast, a while? Or? The fast flow or <laughs> the like ones where you can press the button? I mean, would you rather take a while or spend 150 bucks on a tank of fuel? That, that's, that is true. I'd rather spend an hour filling up. Yeah, yep, exactly. And then last Same. one. Is there something else that I should have? Definitely. Okay. You kind of mentioned it, but you obviously don't want to put it in there. There's, I know there's not a correct answer, but I feel like there is. There kind of is, yeah. <laughs> Liquid. Yeah. It's hot glue. No. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad one, to be honest. Craft. Uh, no, we'll go with the, uh, the Gorilla Super Glue. <laughs> Gorilla Super the, Glue. The Super Grip, whatever it's called. So we've got Gorilla Super Glue. <laughs> we got Petrol. Matcha. Yeah. Gin. Yeah. And oh, Pepsi no, Max. I don't want to do Super Glue. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what's, what's not the Super Glue one then? <laughs> Am I meant to say water? Because that's what we're yes, meant to drink. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, water. <laughs> Fucking boring. <laughs> well, imagine you're like stuck somewhere. You just need water. Pepsi Max. <laughs> <laughs> That'll save me. Pepsi Max and alcohol. Yeah. The three like good answers are fuel. Water, fuel, and olive oil. Why olive oil? Because <laughs> it's expensive. How often do you use olive oil? <laughs> Every time you cook. Yeah, true. I mean I suppose you don't need it for DoorDash. So <laughs> yeah, true. Thanks to the sponsor no. <laughs> <laughs> if only I was gonna say you wish. Yeah, I fucking wish. Maybe Your dad hit me up. <laughs> you need to start doing some like product placement. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Put a DoorDash bag. <laughs> right in the back. Hey, they're not they're not paying me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to blur it out. Yeah, I know. What do you mean? You're not allowed to use that. To. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorted. Well Sorted. done. Sorted. Well done. All done. Thanks for being on the podcast. Thanks for having me. It's good. I'll let you go now. Um 
where can people find you either working or on socials? Uh, so I can Midland at Artistic Skin. And then my Facebook and my Instagram is Caitlin X Art. So it's Caitlin spelled K-A-I-T-L-Y-N. <laughs> I can never remember, to be honest. Yeah, There's 70 something ways to spell it. Yeah. So I thought yeah. I might add yeah. that yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it in the show notes anyway. But yeah, Artistic Skin Midland, hit her up for all of your tatty needs. Um, yeah, thanks for being on the podcast. Thank you for having me. Anytime. I have to get you back on so we can talk about the office in Brooklyn and stuff. Yeah, have to do a... um, And when I don't sound like (laughs) this. Have to do a, uh, like a show. Yes. We'll get more office fans on. Actually, we should do that. That'd be really cool. Yes. Like do quiz. Real quick. Favourite underrated office character? Three... (laughs) <laughs> no, no, because I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick the wrong answer. <laughs> There's no wrong answer, <laughs> as long as it's not one of the main characters. One of the main characters can't be one of the main. So, characters. like, how main are we talking? Can't though? be Jim, Dwight, Pam, Michael. Yeah, Evan Peters cameo. <laughs> he <laughs> plays Michael. S- Michael Scott's yeah, <laughs> grandson. I know, I know. <laughs> He's great. I know. <laughs> Mine's Creed. I love Chris. No, actually, I take no, that. If no. I don't know, if I don't say that, if I don't say that, my partner will be really upset. It is Creed. Get upset at her. It she is, just said is, Evan Peters. Is, Wrong answer. It is Wrong Creed. Answer. It is it is Creed. Wrong or, answer. Or Kevin. Kevin's good. Kevin's. I Kevin's feel bad good. for his chili. <laughs> Save it for next episode. <laughs> Thanks for being on the podcast. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share the show, um, all that fun stuff. We're having fun with it. So much fun. Um, yeah. See you next time. Later.